I am Dakar. Greetings. Welcome, Dakar. Thank you for coming. It is good to be with you today. There is much good news to report. First of all, I would like to say thank you for all those that are concerned about uh, the governments and how we interact. We have gotten many messages from you on how we feel or you feel that we should proceed and some of those advices have been taken because we realize that you do have some good ideas and make sense with your your speaking to us. I believe some of you have even come with us to the conferences occasionally and therefore we thank you for this uh, this encouragement and this support as well. Thank you very much. And now I would like to tell you that the holographic has been approved and the rules and regulations have all been approved. That therefore we will start to bring people in I will explain it exactly how it is. We will bring you in the astral and then add the holographic to you when you arrive at the colonies. Your governments do not wish anyone to see the holographic forms on Earth. So therefore we cannot do sight to sight in actuality for holographic. But we can bring you spiritually and then put the holographic on to you which is adding the light to the astral. Therefore, it is a little more difficult that way. However, we are willing to do that as long as you are able and your governments are willing to do this. So we will do it that way. Also, the last rule and regulation to be accepted was that, that the one that we are allowed to bring you to the colonies, but they did not want us to be able to let you go anywhere else other than the colonies or back to Earth. But we, we struggled with this because there are places in some planets that you need, some of you need to go for information. And so therefore we got it approved that when you come to the colonies you are also allowed to go to other planets as well if it is necessary for your education. And they have approved this, but they, it was a dubious approvement. So they, they were not real happy about it, but in order for this to happen, they had to approve it. We told them that they, they did not have much control of what happens to you when you come here anyway, because they do not have any control here. And if you allow them to come in the astral form, you've been allowing that for a long period of time and no there has been no problems why would it be a problem for you to let us uh, add the holographic and send you off to other planets where you can do learning we will only be giving you safe havens to go to because there will be people there that you will need to talk to and places that we would like you to see so that you are familiar with some of the sites before first contact so this has been approved by the 20th of this month, we should bring the first group astrally and changing them from astral to holographic. So that is a great success for humankind as well as our, our associations here. So thank you for all your prayers and all your support and all your words of kindness and uh, advice on how to approach this. With all this to coming together, we were able to get this worked out with your government. And thank you very much. I am sure many of you are very excited about the very thought of coming in a holographic form. And this is an exciting thought for us as well. We would like you to know that we believe that this will give you a greater insight on what is happening here. You will be able to remember more. You will be able to bring more back, more information back to your planet to be utilized in a great and useful way. Thank you. Thank you. Is very there any much. questions about this at this time? Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, it is exciting by itself, just the craving to communicate with you, to be in a new world, to see it and remember it. That's that's by itself is exciting, and also, it is a service to the contact and to the ascension. We we want to help the the humanity to ascend and ascend in the most friendly way.
Uh, we invite questions from the audience right here live, from the chat on the right, and also from uh, Google Plus page where the event is announced. So please line up and Sabrina will read the questions, the one which are typed. My first question would be, uh, is it only the people from human colony who are going up or other people from um, government and military who are joining and going holographically to your colonies? That is a very good question. Mostly just those from human colony. If someone from the military or someone from the governments want to come, they cannot bring weapons or any form of negative devices. They will be able to visit and see what happens as well as anyone else. We would not deprive them of this opportunity. So if they would like to come, we would bring them as well. However, in the astral, of course, weapons would not be available. Sight to sight, they would be. However, we do not want any negative beings to come onto the ship. I would encourage people from the government, especially the collectively elected, to visit the colonies and to to learn the colonies and the contact to do the contact themselves. That would be very educational. That will move the contact much closer. The open contact that will move move much closer. So I would encourage them to follow up. And how would they apply? Do they have the the way to apply? We have meetings with the governments every few months, sometimes more often. If they have a list of those that want to come, we will accept it. And and we will also brief them that when they arrive there will be an interview to let them know what to ex they will be experiencing and we will listen to their comments making sure that no one has any negative agenda. There is a way for us to determine this other than what they understand that we can do. So if they come with a negative agenda we will send them back. Wonderful. Um, if any elected official from anywhere around doesn't know where to apply in the government, they can go to our website and apply through our website, or they can just send in the mail, sign up to go at gmail.com and say that they want to join, and uh, we encourage them to apply. There is a lot of elected officials and uh, all around the globe, and we would uh, encourage them to apply. They can also apply anonymously without saying their name, so the humans wouldn't be able to trace them easily, but uh, the current friends would, would be able to, to take the application and, and invite them up there. So Sabrina, Correct. do you have people lined up in the chat? So people in the room, please line up in the chat and go ahead with your questions. Kralak is first. Uh, yes. Hello to Kerr. Greetings, Kralak. You go by many names, so I, I will just speak the name that is here. Yes, um, about the holograph. I have two questions about the holographic projections. I wanted to ask yeah. if I'd be able to go to the Levisai world. You will be able to go to other worlds from the colonies, but you must arrive at the colonies and go through the interview system first. Then, if you request to move to other planets or other colonies, then that request will be taken into consideration and things will be moved along for you. Remember that we are still organizing the holographic projections. We do not know how they are going to work out at first. So we will be uh, watching the first several holographic progressions and see projections to see how things are progressing and then move forward with, with our greater plan for learning and teaching after that. Yes, you will be able to go to other places. However, we would prefer that the first few times in holographic form that you would do some teaching, I mean learning from other teachers and not go to the other worlds immediately because the, that would suggest that you are just using it as a transport and not using it as an educational format. Therefore, we would like you to learn some things and then we will organize with other planets your movement to those places 
we understand why you want to go there and it is perfectly acceptable and therefore but we would we would definitely plan that but right now the first couple times that you come to the colonies we would want it for educational purposes because we want to see how much information is stored and returned to your planet and becomes useful do you understand that yes and my second yes. question is but you will get to meet whoever you need to meet and that is fine we understand the importance of this connection do not worry it will happen yes thank you and my second question is if there is any information that I need to know or questions any aliens wanted to ask me that I can answer of course that is without without question you will be able to ask and be uh, given answers to your questions also I wanted to bring up something now that I thought of it many people have expressed desire to hug me in the holographic form I will be able you will be able to hug me but I will not be able to hug you back because you are only a beam of light however I can give it an effort but it will go right through you so I just want you to know that you will be able to actually experience a form of hug but it will not be the same as a sight-to-sight -sight, uh, third dimensional hug however many of you express that desire so I will be available to help you with that request continue I heard that holographic projections can, can actually be physical they can uh, have the ability to touch and be touched so I guess there, there are different kinds there are different kinds the kind that we have to use because your governments do not want us to take you out of the body and put you in holographic projection immediately because others would see is a different kind of holographic projection than we have to originally use so it was uh, brought into the reality later than the original holographic site to site project but now we are able to add the holographic to the astral form which is enough enough to say that you should be able to experience many of the same things thank you there is someone in the room that has a question yes come here no one can hear you I have a question for you. First of all, good morning. Thank you for being here. Thank you. The question I have is for this coming Friday, have those people been selected already and how many? Yes, there is a plan, yes. There is a schedule being made. The 20th will be the first of those and we will bring up as many as we can do at once, which is about a hundred. So th there are several hundreds of you out there that want to come in astral projection or even just uh, astral to holographic. So therefore it must be planned well ahead of time so that we can make room for everyone and put them in the proper places where they should be. We have three planners working on this and uh, the first round of people will be those that have been waiting for the holographic the longest and so it is first come first serve as you would call it but however we call it the we call it those that are most likely to succeed yes um, come here to speak okay. Okay. <laughs> hi my name is Sandy um, I know that I am a non-physical being currently as well as a physical being. Correct. I've got my spirit. Right. On the non-physical plane, I feel like I can do and be anything I want to be. That is correct. Why is there this control mechanism by the government to say, yes, you can do this, no, you can't? When I'm not, my, my, my non-physical form can do anything. Because humanity hasn't grasped that concept yet their belief systems are far behind yours and therefore you can go in any way that you want to and they can't stop you from anything 
However, the belief system in the human population is that there has to be a means to get there and a ways to return. So therefore, we are just giving the humanity what they want. And we are giving the governments what they want as well. Belief systems are very popular on your planet and they are very limited. Yours seems to be unlimited and therefore do what you wish. And I say thank you very much for your expansion of thought patterns. However, if and um, I would just say that those of you that have trouble with this kind of belief system will go in the holographic form. I do not say that there is no other way to go. I'm just saying this is the way, if you're going with us, that you have to go. You're welcome. Yes. Carolina, yes. if there isn't anyone in the room. Come oh, here yeah. so they can hear you. John, I have a question. Do we have to individually register at all, or is it... It's already been done. It's been done. Yes, we see who you are. We know your thoughts, and we know who has been there. And every single person that comes to Yukoro or speaks to in a class of Yukoro people or is or is known to you, Colo representatives, will be included. And if you just say that you want to go, that is all that is necessary. A formal written approval is accepted, and it is a good thing because it lets the governments know how many people are willing to, to do this. Without your written permission, uh, telling the, us that you are wanting to go, the governments only see that limitation of people. So if you have not written why you want to go or if you want to go, please do this so the governments know that they are becoming more and more outnumbered as far as belief systems are concerned about coming to the colonies and about believing in what we call, what you call, aliens or off-worlders or different species. It is all appropriate. We know that there is no discontentment when you say the word alien or whatever, and so we are happy to be with you no matter what you call us, as long as it is out of love. I wrote the whole book about me wanting to go. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> so therefore, it is not politically incorrect to call us anything that you want, as long as it's out of love. So they have been selected. Already, we have scheduled out to the 27th of November, from the 20th. And it continues to work because there are many hundreds of you that want to come. And we are very, very excited about this program. It, did okay. that answer your question? Yes. Very well. Thank you. Carol Carolina is next. Thank you. Hello, take care. Good morning. Good morning. I'd love to come up and hug you. I cannot hear you very well. Please speak up. I'd love to come up and come up and hug you. Ah, that is not a problem. <laughs> you are in the works of the schedules. Thank you. Um, I have a question. I oh, sorry. Yes. Continue. Um. So no, yes, I would love to come up, uh, come up and uh, and visit as well. <laughs> Um, okay, I wanted to ask you um, about my DNA, if that's okay? It is fine. Um, you mentioned I was going to get Pandorian. Is that activated already? It is infused, but it is not activated completely yet. Oh, right. Okay. We found that there has been, you've been on it a bit of an emotional up and yeah. down and so we have slowed it down a bit so that it will go in more efficiently. Yes, that's okay. That um, it will activate more efficiently, I should say. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, that would be nice. Um, okay, I've had um, in my dream, somebody came, um, sent me an image. 
it's a um, it's a man with yellow hair. Yes. And he has big eyes. Yes. He has he has sharp features. Yes. And, and I think he's got blue or gray eyes. Do you yes. know who he is? He's one of the Nords. The Nords oh, are right. very, a very large, beautiful people. Great structures, blonde hair, blue eyes usually, and are very attractive to the human race. Many of them, when they first came to Earth, had negative intentions. They have, some have pulled away from this. They were in. They had influenced Hitler in the Second World War. That is where the Aryan race got its start, from the Nordic population. That is what they they were called. However, there are many good ones at this time as well, and their features are very sharp and beautiful. Yes, yes. Do you know who who this is exactly, or can it be anybody? One moment. Lazaya. Lazaya. Okay. L E Z I A H H. Right. Okay. Lazaya. Okay. Yes, that is his name. He's just come to speak to you about your coming transports and your interactions. He is one of those that you will become familiar with after first contact. Okay, that's nice. Welcome. <laughs> um, I also yes. had um, um, a dream, some dreams about uh, being with little kids, especially this tiny little baby. It looks like a. Yes. Uh, it's got big black eyes. Like yes. But it's tiny. That is a Yu-Gi-Oh child from the that is a yu -Gi -Oh child in the Aaron nursery which you visit. There are several of you that visit the Aaron nurseries and find this particular child most interesting because it is so small and so beautiful. It <laughs> is an Aaron human hybrid and it is worshipped by many. <laughs> okay, because well, in my dream it is so beautiful. Yes. In my dream, I dressed him as a doll. <laughs> I did not hear that. In my dream, I dressed him as a doll. As a, as, a hum as a doll. Ah, you dressed him as a doll. Well, that is not surprising to me. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, that is oh. not surprising. <laughs> Thank Many you so much, Sticker. You are welcome. Many people just like to hold him and feel that his, because he is so small, but he has a great amount of energy, and they feel this and are so surprised that such a small baby can have such great energy within him, and they, it is a calming and loving energy, and he is addicted to all of you holding him now. Yeah. He is a holding addiction. He just wants to be held all the time at this point. Oh, thank you, Tekka, so much. Um, um, and let others ask questions. And I love you so much. I can't wait to see you again. Much love to you as well. Much love. Namaste. Namaste. Namaste to all of you. Thank you. Thank you, Caroline. Neil? Uh, can, I, can I squeeze in with a question? Mm -hmm. So I would ask a question which everybody is asking frequently. Uh, how do you how do you prepare for the uh, for the visit? Uh, would you know in advance if the visit is coming? Uh, how long would it take? The holographic one. Uh, so how would people prepare themselves? Do they have to be happy? Do they have to meditate, or it really doesn't matter? And what if they are caught in where, where uh, what if they are caught in a state where they can't really go? If there is somebody around or something like that. I, we have taken care of all these problems. We speak to you, you know how you go in the astral. We come to your subconscious and your subconscious gives permission to come. And therefore we will do the same thing. We will come to you in your subconscious, ask you if you want to come astrally, 
um, or holographically. That will tell us something. Also, if we come to you and we discover that there is much going on in your life, much uh, trouble or lack of sleep or something, uh, problems that are occurring, we will reschedule for another time because we do not want to take you during a period of time where you are not ready. So would it be advisable for people to be in a good state of health and mood at, 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 uh, around these times? or It would be the most life. preferable. That is the most preferable. There so are if you're in depression, no get out of depression, right? If there is someone in depression, we will speak to the subconscious and see what they're, and the higher self, and see what the thought process is there for them coming to the colonies. Because depression is a little different. Sometimes when people are taken in a state of depression and they come to the colonies, the depression is alleviated. Now, it depends on how deep that depression is. If it's a very deep depression, we would not take you. We would do an, an infusion to help you with your depressed state. However, the subconscious would have to agree to that or the higher self. How much of the healing would you do in the, in the visits? There is no healing that can be done in the holographic actually. It is very much that we do the infusions just as we do on Earth. We can add, do them the same on the colony, but unless you are there in third dimension, 3D, site to site, we cannot really do much healing. It is we are only working with the spiritual body. The spiritual body is also already intact and whole and does not need any healing because your blueprint is already intact. If you were to lose an arm or a leg or whatever, the blueprint would still have this energy intact and uh, would have the energy going into those places that are were once physical. Therefore, uh, there's not much we can do about that. We cannot change the physical with uh, the spiritual. Do you understand that? Yes, absolutely. Thank you. That's wonderful. Um, please, next question. Neil? Hello, Chikara. This is Neil. Neil, how are you? Yeah, I'm good. How are you? Excellent. Um, I have something, a request that I have for you. Yes. Uh, could you put some protection over Claire's computer because I have a feeling that it's been compromised. How has it been compromised? She's getting, well I'm finding with her computer especially, she's getting a lot of glitches on her computer. Ah, this is a, com a technology security. One moment please. Um, many are experiencing much technical difficulties on their computers. There are many species in the areas of larger cities and people that are very powerful. So they are watching and actually interfering with technical, dif technical services and things of that nature. So it has become difficult for many to have Skype sessions and things of this nature. But that should be cleared up soon. The galactic police, as we would call them, they're really not police, but they're guardians. They will be uh, taking care of this situation. Also, the Earth's, the, uh, the energy of the Earth has changed, as you know, and that is calming down still. And it will not be calmed down till probably the middle to the end of December. It's a very slow process that started many months ago but was peaked in, on September 28th and is very strong still and we're still going through many of the, the bumps and entanglements of that energy with Mother Earth so please be patient. It may not be that she is being attacked so much as the Earth's energy still calming down. However, there have been many attacks and many interferences, but they are being taken care of as well. Once the Earth was shaken up a great deal, it gave opportunity to those with 
malevolent intentions to do things that they should not. So therefore this should be calming down and the Galactic Guardians will help them to move on and not interfere as much. Give this a little time until perhaps the middle or the end of December before it will totally be relieved. Okay, thank you. Now, one more question I have is there is an activation, a written activation that I've made and this activation, it's in, most of it's in uh, Gray's, Gray's script and when this activation, it seems to, it hooks me up to some technology they have and it, is a, it, it gives a body scan and it detects, you know what I'm talking about? It detects um, yes. implants and it can deactivate them. Can you give me, can you tell me how effective that actually is? It should be very effective. If you feel that it is not effective, then get in touch with someone that can get a hold of me or someone else and we can check that out for you. Deactivation uh, or removal of implants has been one of our regular things lately. A lot of people do not want their implants any longer. They're affecting their physicalities or their emotional uh, portions of their psych psychology and therefore they are having them removed. So if, if you have had them removed already, that is no problem. If you feel that they have not been removed, get in touch with us. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, thank you very much, Sita. Much love to you. Much love. Hello, Tucker. This is Sabrina. Sabrina. How, How are, are you? you? <laughs> I am great. Good. So am I. Um, so I have a few questions from members. Yes. Um, Sandra Holm, she wants to know if her Yale infusion is finished. One moment, please. It is complete and activated. Yes. Okay, she was. She she said she's also saying she would like to go to the colonies holographic. So she's given her permission. Kuraka shundi baka. They are she, listening in, and they will take down all this information. It is being recorded. Okay, and uh, and she also wanted to know when was her last visit. There has not been many visits recently because of the preparation for the holographic. We would like to make it as clean and uneventful as possible and so therefore we have slowed down the astral visits because many of the teachers and those that are helpful to us have been helping with um, different things with the holographic and testing and things of this nature making it 100 as close to 100 percent effective as possible. So I believe that they have stopped at this moment doing any kind of astral projections for it until the 20th when they're going to start doing the holographic. Okay. And she has not visited for a while, not since August. All right. Um, Sarah, but not but not the other Sarah. <laughs> Um, I understand. Yeah, she's saying, um, if you ha could you someone ask my Fandori, how her Fandorian infusion is going? I'm glad you to have suggested it to me. The Fandorian is doing very well. There was a part, a moment in there where they stopped doing anything because she went to a different. Uh, emotional state but now it is back and it all it is almost complete okay uh, sheer says hello much love to hello, her ah. did the assistance from Ramula Grace arrive to Gertrude near yes they are preferring to they did send some of this 
uh, DNA from uh, Remulac and Amok. They have sent their DNA. However, we are finding it difficult to infuse. So we have one of their representatives coming to help us uh, co coordinate how we are going to put it into the body. So there has been a slight delay. Okay. And he also said, can you tell Ramulek or Omak to start bringing me holographic? Thank you. That is not a problem. They have already agreed that whenever it is possible, they will do so. Um, okay, Their then. systems are quite different for holographic than ours, so they are quite advanced. You may be able to see more from their systems than ours. They are about 300 years ahead of us. Okay. Now I have one from Barbara Joy. Yes. Uh, she says, when you bring us up to the colonies in holographic form, what do we look like to you? Your perfect astral, your perfect spiritual being is what you look like. You have no flaws whatsoever on your spirit. So therefore, when you come, you are perfect. So you look wonderful, of course. Okay, so, so we look physical, just not solid. Correct. Okay. And we will clothe you as you come through, because many of, your, many of you come, or all of you, come in the naked form, and that is not acceptable f to you in many cases. So we do provide you with a set of astral clothing so that you may... There is only a few of you that prefer to walk around without any. Okay. Um, Ash, Ashraf? He's asking, how accurate is my channeling? One moment, Over please. You. Over you. Kira Kashum Digaba, 87% accurate. Of course, you're bringing yourself in, in some senses, to this, uh, to your channeling. Try to leave yourself out of it completely. There is some parts of you that come through and therefore that is the 13% that is not accurate. However, you have been doing quite well. It is difficult at first to keep yourself out. You must learn to discipline for this, but you are doing a great job. Thank you very much. Now, you must know what parts of that are you and what parts are not. So therefore, before you do a, any channeling whatsoever, please ask the spirits to leave your consciousness away from the channeling session so that the purity can come through. The reason for this is that if you do become involved in the channeling as such, the information may change and the message may change and the acceptance of the information also may change because it was set up to do a perfect thing in its perfect way and when it does not have its perfect uh, delivery then it is not accepted a hundred percent the way it should be so therefore um, it you they may get most of the information but that information that you added may not be something that they need it okay now I have Shin. Um, Shin, hello. How are you? He says I've been, it's been a, uh, I've been having quite a tough time emotionally for the past week or so, and wondering if this is just a regular physical symptom or caused by spiritual cause, like a DNA infusion. If it's spiritual, what are things that I can do, and also how is my DNA infusion going? No negativity should be caused by a DNA infusion. It should be all positive. And if somebody is interfering with it, we, we are not aware of that. However, spiritually, because a DNA infusion is not necessarily spiritual. It goes right to the DNA and, goes in, and becomes activated with the DNA that you have. So that is not actually spiritual. That becomes... It comes from an, an infusion point and it becomes physical, but they cannot detect it unless they do a DNA scan, which most people do not 
do on a day-to-day -day basis. So that is not something that they uh, will detect right away. However, spiritually, I would have to check in with you and see what is going on. There might be an attack. It might be the Earth's energies also, because once you set yourself in a certain position of emotional, uh, an emotional contact, the Earth energies can make that much stronger or take some of that away as well. It depends on how it's interacting with you physically, emotionally, and spiritually. So therefore, I would say I would like to uh, just do a scan of you and see what is happening on those levels. And uh, we'll have someone do that while we are talking today. And I will um, have something for you shortly. Okay. Continue. Okay. Noha, um, she wants to know if she's ready to go holographically, and do you have any message regarding that or any other messages in general for her? You are ready, Noha. Noha, you are ready. But I see that you still are burdened with many of the thoughts of your culture. Do not even think about your culture. You are a part of our culture now. Your culture will cease to exist at some point. And therefore, be comforted by the fact that you are with us in your, our culture. Do you understand? And therefore, you are ready to go. And that is what I would want to say to you. Be not burdened by your culture at all because your culture is not advanced as it should be uh, you said something which is disturbing uh, yes. that uh, her culture will cease to exist no Can I did not say it that? would cease to exist only for her only for her not cease to exist as a whole but for her oh, personally it should not exist because she does really not live in that culture. Of course. I do of not think that her culture, that, will see, her culture will continue to exist. Thank you. But she should not worry about it. Okay. That is all. I'm not saying that her culture will disappear. No, I'm not saying that. But that she should not worry about being in her culture because she is of us as well and we will help her through that absolutely yes she is so much over your place and so little over down below yes her her understanding of the world is greater than what th those around her perceive okay. that is all <coughs> i just um. wanted to comfort her um, uh, that's it for now from the members, and I just wanted to say that I, I give permission to go holographically to her. Oh, we already do know this. Yes, very good. Is there someone else you would like to speak to at this time? Yeah, we wanted to speak uh, to Pleiadians from Gurkfitnir just to get a general introduction. We never did it on public, so if they can, if they are ready, we would welcome them. Understood. Thank you for coming. Thank you for all of you listening, and I to hope the information was positive and edifying to you. To Kerr, Stephen Helms would like to ask one question, if that's okay with you. That is good. Bye. Uh, yes. Is he speaking yet? Thank you. Yeah, can y'all hear me? I cannot hear him. Can you hear yeah. me now? Yes, I can hear you now. Okay, sorry, I don't know what that was. How you doing, Zakir? I am wonderful, thank you. Uh, thank you. How are you? Uh, doing good, working a lot, and uh, having a lot of uh, problems in my, my body, uh, just adjusting with the sciatica, the nerve endings and stuff. There's, uh, ah. there's uh, issues with that. Uh, Continue. All right, thank you. Um, I had a dream not too long ago about uh, 
I was uh, in a building, and then next to the building, there was just uh, like a human-looking person. And uh, so I was just interested in uh, what he was doing. You know, and so he came up to me, and uh, his eyes were like a, like a frog-looking eyes, kind of weird, kind of like a, a weird circular uh, thing, wavy type of thing. But he came to me, and he just says, uh, so are you a hybrid or something? Something from my eyes. He, uh, he, uh, his hand went to my, went to my eye and, like, opened my eye or, like, like looked to my eye. And then he said, oh, yeah, something. Oh, yeah, something. I was just wondering if you had more information. Yes, you are near one of their headquarters, as they would call it. And so they were wanting you not to remember this. However, that this is why he was reaching towards your eyes, that you would be not seeing the actual location where they are. And you probably really don't know the location anyway. But... Um, this is one of their headquarters, but you would identify it if you were to see it again, probably. But it is all right. They know that you know, and they are not harmful. And But the, the only thing is about them is they're not really supposed to be on the soil of the earth. They're not supposed to be there. And even though they're not harmful, they're breaking the law. Okay. Do you have and any so, therefore, they would not want you to... Uh, report that you have seen them. All right. Um, I guess I probably can't find more information about that species. I think it's like a frog species. It is an interesting species, yes. They are not one that has yet been cataloged by your political government. All right, and one more question. Uh, there's a when I work at school as a security guard, there's this lady uh, that uh, comes there and stays there, and uh, like I observe, she's in a black Kia, and uh, she's uh, she's just always she has a kid up that attends that school, but she's always uh, she stays there uh, continuously uh, longer than what uh, most parents drop off their kid and leave. But uh, she stays at the school, and I've asked her about it. And uh, just if you had more information about this lady, uh, would be would be awesome. Yes, she is a a one of the representatives of the men in black. They can have children, they can have lives, and have a a a uh, what is it? a clandestine purpose. But it is not really clandestine. It's uh, just a purpose other than that which anyone knows about. And therefore she reports daily to the schools and there is more than one person that she watches there. Uh, gotcha. There's a guy in a Toyota, uh, uh, the big, that big dude, uh, he's, uh, he seems like he's pretty connected with me too. Do you have any information on him real quick? That's it. Yes, he's one of the, uh, he's another species. Really, awesome. Yes, he's, he's one of the. He is very, he's very tall. Does he have sort of longish hair? Um, he's very, he's very big. Uh, I met, actually met him. If you can see my memories, I actually met him in the store. Yeah, he was, uh, okay. he was at the counter, and I shook his hand too. He's very, he's very, uh, very uh, big. You know, he's just yeah. like, yeah, he's pretty. But he seems like he has more of a positive, you know, he seems more of a positive yes, entity. Yes, he is. He's a positive entity. He is not really there in um, uh, the real world all the time. He moves between different planets. But he has some interest in this area. And he is a Pleiadian. Sweet. Thank you much, Sakur. Much love. I will bring in someone else for you now. A Pleiadian is waiting to speak to you. Thank you, Tukur. Much love to you all, and I am hoping that all of you are well. Yeah, thank you, Tucker. It was a pleasure and an honor to speak to you. Thank you. Honor to speak to those who are wonderful from your planet. 
Chiakawata Shah.